Hi, welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. This is Dr. O'Connor. Here we have another buffer problem. We're told the buffer solution was prepared by adding 495 grams of sodium acetate to 250 milliliters of 0.15 molar acetic acid. We're asked what is the pH of this buffer. First, we're going to be using the henderson hasselbach equation, so I'll go ahead and write that. So that's the pKa plus the log. And here we have the concentration of the acetate ion, which comes from the sodium acetate, remember, and then the concentration of the acetic acid. We already have the concentration of the acetic acid, and that is 0.15 molar. So we need to determine the concentration of the acetate. So uh, we have sodium acetate. So for one mole of sodium acetate, we have one mole of sodium ion, one mole of acetate ion. So let's go ahead and determine the concentration of the acetate ion. So let's see, we have 4.95 grams of sodium acetate. Let's just convert that to moles. And one mole of sodium acetate is 82, oops, 82.0 three grams. So that's going to give us 0 0.060344 moles of sodium acetate. So remember, if we have 0 0.060344 moles of sodium acetate, sodium acetate is going to completely dissociate then that means we have 0 0.060344 moles of acetate ion. So now, let's see. We know the volume of the solution. We can determine the molarity. So we have 0 0.060344 moles of acetate ion over 250 milliliters, which is the same as 0 0.250 liters. And that is going to give us a concentration of 0.241 molar for the acetate ion. So the only thing we need now is our pKa, and that's something that I would give you in the problem. K, acid association for acetic acid is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 molar equal to 4.74. It's a pKa equal to 4.74. In case some of you aren't quite sure how to do that, uh, to determine pKa from Ka, you just take the negative log of the acid association, and that gives you pKa. So we're all set here to go. So using the henderson hasselbach equation, the pH is equal to the pKa, which is 4.74 plus the log. And so our acetate concentration is 0.241 molar. And our acetic acid concentration is 0 0.15 molar. And we go ahead, plug this into our calculator, and we end up with a pH equal to 4.95. So that was easy enough for part A. Let's go to part B. What is the pH of 100 milliliters of the buffer solution? So the same buffer solution that we've been talking about. If 82 milligrams of sodium hydroxide is added to the buffer. So I'm going to go ahead and write the uh, equation for this. So what we're going to have is we're going to have hydroxide ion and, of course, our acetic acid. Okay. And it goes to water and acetate ion. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is determine the number of moles of sodium hydroxide added to the buffer. So 82 milligrams is the same as 0 .0 or 0 0.082 grams. So let's go ahead and convert that to moles. So grams, and again, this is the sodium hydroxide. One mole of sodium hydroxide is 40 grams. And that works out to be 0 0.0021 
moles of sodium hydroxide have been added to this buffer solution. So the next thing we need to do is let's determine how many moles of acetic acid are present before the addition of the sodium hydroxide. So we're, we know that we had 0.15 moles of acetic acid per liter of solution, okay? And so here we're told uh, we have 100 milliliters, right? We're being asked for the pH of 100 milliliters of the solution, so that's 0.1 liter. And that gives us 0 0.01015 moles of acetic acid before the addition of the sodium hydroxide. So let's go ahead and set up a little table here so we can figure out where we're at. So here is my acetic acid because we want the uh, ratio, right, of acetate to acetic acid. So so let's see. So we have an initial, a change in equilibrium concentration. And we're just going to use, rather than concentration, we're going to use uh, just the moles. So initial moles here, we have 0 0.0150 moles of acetic acid. And we have 241 moles of acetate ion. Okay, so the change is going to be, right, because this, um, remember, this sodium hydroxide that's been added is going to react with the acetic acid. So, and that's going to be 0 0.0021 moles of that. And, of course, here we're going to add 0 0.0021 moles. Okay, remember, the sodium hydroxide is reacting with the acid, so we have to subtract this. So then at equilibrium, we're going to end up with 0 0.0129 moles of acetic acid and 0 0.0262 moles of, let me just erase this and redo that. Okay, that's better. And 0 0.0262 moles of acetate ion. So... Here I can use the uh, henderson hasselbach equation, okay? So what I have is pH, it's going to be pKa, again, 4.74 plus the log. Now, when we're using the henderson hasselbach equation, we really don't need concentrations because think about it. What's going to happen is you have the volume of both the numerator and the denominator. It cancels out. So we can just go ahead and plug in the moles here. So here we have 0 0.0262 moles of acetate ion over 0 0.0129 moles of acetic acid. So what we have here is 4.74 plus the log of 0 0.0262 divided by 0 0.0129. And that gives us a pH of 5. Point zero five. So again, that was um, straightforward. The key here was determining how much of the acetic acid was needed to react with the added hydroxide ion. And then again, we were able to use the number of moles. We didn't need concentrations for the Henderson-Hasselbach equation.